morning welcome back to GCS machinery um, lots of things to do today but anyway popping into yams the Yorkshire agricultural machinery show which is held at the York livestock market um, in Merton in Yorkshire I've never been before I bought a lot of machinery out of the auctions that they the agricultural machinery auctions they have on site um, I've never been to the agricultural machinery show so um, kind of looking forward to having a quick look around there although I can't spend all day there uh, too much to do um, I think John Deere Mick's going to be there we'll see if we can get him on camera he likes being on camera although he says he doesn't um, right question for you I just passed a fence tractor with a hedge cutter and a bird string on the front. And I think it's a local contractor that we, we see their machinery quite a bit. But for the first time today, we've seen one with green wheels. The tyres are green. Well, they certainly appeared green, for sure. So, is it something new that I don't know about? Is it something that's out there? If you know, put in the comments below, because it, it does look very, very bizarre having green wheels, green tyres. Not, not wheels, green tyres. So, if you know any... A bit bumpy there. If you know anything about them, what that's all about, in the comments below, we'd like to know. Anyway, let's go to York. All right, we're here. Car park packed, absolutely rammed. So, uh, Looks like a good looks like a good show. So uh gonna have a look around, see what we can find and who we're gonna bump into. You never know. I've got the feeling I said John Deere Mix here somewhere. So uh, we're gonna see if we can find him. <laughs> Morning! I need some technical expertise. <laughs> Morning! Morning. <laughs> there you go, we knew we said he was here somewhere. There we go. I've just realised this is worth a video. In his own right. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It's, no, it's still mirrored. Oh, I think we've, so. We've been messing about with this selfie stick forever. I and now, we're writing job. Yeah. <laughs> Technology is beating Joe. Oh, oh, it's totally. Sorry, guys, it's totally beating me. We got my camera. Love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to sign him up. We can't go anywhere without Joe being mechanised these days. You know that. Walking into a few. Joe's getting excited now, looking at this JCB Teddy truck. There's a, there's a 70, 70th anniversary, what do they call that, sorry? Commem it's a commemorative 70th anniversary of the 40X. Of the 40X. The platinum. Look at that, looks, that looks really cool. But Joe, you know, getting excited at the Teddy truck. That's the one to get excited about. Is it? It is, yeah, that's, that is definitely the one to get excited about. The Harrison's are doing the access equipment and the Teddy truck from TC Harrison. Mark from TC Harrison's is now trying to sell Joe a Teddy okay. truck. Joe is going to take a demo on the Teddy truck, aren't you, Joe? Yes, I might have one to try. Yeah, no, nah, we need more positivity, Joe. We need more positivity. It'll get mucky though, you know. Well, that's why we'll have you to have washings, don't you? <laughs> if you, I can live with a bit of muck, mate. The washing will be made for mucky. That's good. Uh, <laughs> if, you get, if you get a dig of our telly truck, that's not dirty, you're not using it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it, that's what we want. We'll see Jerry's fetching the digger. Well, I can't take Joe anywhere. Wherever I take Joe, the Yorkshireman and Joe creep. Out every time we go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, keep watching. I've had the funny feeling if you watch Joe's channel, you might just see a telly truck in the near future. I think we will definitely see a telly truck. <laughs> Alright, we've just come onto the Volvo stand, and there's this awesome big loading shovel, an L110. And uh, I think this is the market where we will end up having to go in with loading shovels. Whether or not it's a JCB or a Volvo, I don't know. But I have to say, this is something's caught my eyes. The really flashy light bar this has got around the back there with LEDs in it, which I think looks really cool. And uh, I think this was the demo that or the machine had at Lama last year. Um, yeah, what a weapon that is. I've got the feeling it might be going on, um, well, one of them might be going to demo at Joe's. If it is the case, I will go up there and have a play with it and have a look. But uh, I definitely think this is the market we're going to end up going for the hire. Um, for the contractors and the silage and the maize and the AD plants that we supply too so uh, 
if you think we need something like this or two or three of these in the higher fleet please let us know let us know what you think we need that would be, be really cool so uh, <laughs> Joe's smiling yet again but look at that he bought it Joe won't, hasn't told his dad that <laughs> no but look at where that's there's a machine look at that so uh, yeah if, if Joe has it on demo we'll go and have a play with it on the Agri World stand. I'm sure one of them would be really handy in the yard for moving up and stuff around. Especially there's got the trader attachment as well, which goes onto there. For moving traders about. So, uh, all the different fittings there, JCB. Hmm. It would be useful, then you can go and pick ploughs up or anything else on the three-point linkage on a telehandler, so, uh, yeah. Feed buckets, and they've got the front weight boxes here. Look at them. <laughs> John Dimmick was then diving away from the camera. <laughs> Green Mick? Yeah, it's green. It's, it's looking a good green. Is that, is that the right, it's not the right shade you've got? Oh, the colour match to the tractors. Oh, look at that, wow. Yeah. Colour match, you track, look at that. That's a good idea, isn't it? Look at that. I know we sell the fuel tanks that fit in some of these boxes. So you can put a 210 litre fuel tank in there with a pump for uh, extra capacity for the day. So, uh, there we go. Look at that, Agri World. And you get your first nice thing on the front. I've just found the ultimate drone here. Look at that for look at that for a weapon. I'm not very good at flying the little ones. So I think I'd be useless at flying that. But look at that. What a tool. How much does that weigh, Jack? Curiosity. That's, like, that's above 249 grams. Isn't it? It is definitely <laughs> yeah. above. You need more than a more than a little license <laughs> for that. that one. Yes. Well, it is a weapon. Yeah, look at that. Right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Look at that. Now how's that for a weapon of a tractor? Look at that. All right. Look at that. That's some weapon, isn't it? So, how, how many horsepower would that be? Do you know? I don't know. To be fair, we'll it, can't, it can't be the 960s on the bonnet, can it? It can't no, be. No. Look at that for a machine. About 600 of that. Sorry? I bet it about 600. Really? So, anyway, for anybody watching, if anybody actually watches this video, please let us know how many horsepower you think that might be. Look at that for a weapon. Look at that. We just walked around into the main uh, ring here, well, show, well, the main part of the show. I think Joe's getting quite excited about all these tractors and hay turners and everything else. I think oh, yeah, yeah. Which way to go first, Joe? Straight on. Which way we go first? <laughs> oh, oh, JCB, all right, yeah. I think that's going to be my favourite colour Unimog out of all three of them. Yeah. We've got, we've got a grey, an orange and a green. Joe likes the green because it suits the logo on his... Um, Green ones, on, right. his green, on his green on his hat. Where's your hat, Joe? See that you got the green logo there, which matches the Unimog, which I think is cool. But I think I, I think the, I like that one. I think that's that's the colour I'd have. It's more discreet that one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nipping that motorway with that with three silage trailers on, nobody would ever notice, would they? No, no, no one would ever notice never. at all. Yeah. No. So, so yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think? What do you think of Unimogs? What's, the, what's your favourite colour? If you were going to buy a Unimog. If anybody's actually watching this video, what colour would you buy? <laughs> this is Joe's normal procedure on a day out now. Isn't it? Look. <laughs> Look. Walking around here, we find ourselves drawn once again to uh, another JCB dealer and their machines. That's the little dinky one again we've seen before, terrible one. Under the weight limit for towing. So, uh, quite dinky. Awesome. Here we go. Four twenty S. There we go. Let's see. Joe is drawn towards the TM, <laughs> as always. There we go. That's got the proper anchor hitch on there. We have that on ours, which swivels round. Keep out of the way there. So yeah, nice machine. If you want to hire one of those, give us a shout. That's on wide tyres too, and that's wider than normal, I think, isn't it? Not what size they are. 
Six twenty. Yeah. There you go. On the house from stand, local to us, Sprayer manufacturers. Andrew Sprayer here we go, here at another show. I'm sure this has been to more shows than I have, and that's saying something. No doubt he'll start using it soon. No machine here, it's uh, certainly some show. Guess what he's excited about now? I love mowing. I think that'd take it to the next level, wouldn't it? Hashtag the grass king, literally. <laughs> Do you want me to sort of demo for you, Joe? Yeah, <laughs> Look at that, eh? Mind it's that is some beast, isn't it? Look at the size of it. Another dinky teddy hand here. I'm sure that's not built for the um, larger person, but we're going to try it. Not sure this is made for the um, larger person or, or fat person, it's easier to say, isn't it? I mean, uh, we all want to drive this all day long. I think it could be quite um, a tight fit. I do in the right location, don't it, for the right jobs. <laughs> and again, here we go, and again. <laughs> and yet another JCB. A 1050 Fent. And that's a weapon and a half, isn't it? Look at that. That really is a weapon. Now we find some blue tractors after all this. Look at that. T7 300. Oh, and a T7 340. Look at that. Auto command, front linkage. What a lump of a tractor. Joe is just busy st checking his stocks and shares. <laughs> Trying to edit a video here, Michael. 94 clips so far. Oh, really? 94 clips. I'll tell you how, uh, how long it is at the moment. <laughs> Loading. This is how I do my editing. It's all on my phone. This is why Joe does minutes. 22 minutes 22 so far. Minutes, yeah. Joe, Joe does a very professional video every day, on, all on his phone, isn't it? All on my phone. All is fine. That is quite impressive. That's quite impressive. Quite an impressive phone, really. Yeah, but the phone's only as good as the man pushing the buttons. Well, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> wow. We've gone from blue to orange. And the Zeta stand. They certainly look a lot different to what I remember as the Zeta as a child. I mean, I think the Zeta Crystal at the time. That's going back a little bit, showing my age now. But young Joe here is in the uh, talks with Zeta. Do you think we should see green on Joe's farm? Sorry, red on Joe's farm. I don't know. We could do. It's certainly come a long way from when I was a child, that's for sure. He's on another mission now. Look at him. Sat next to this very, very nice spark John Deere combine is this trailer. Now this trailer is something else. I'll show you. Not quite how you pronounce it, Des Deser. It's like a walking floor trailer that pivots upwards at the back. Front stays at the height is it now. So it can load bulkers um, at the side of the road or in a field um, with a walking floor. But even better than that, it's actually driven. So as a prop shaft, that is driven there by the diffs. Rear steer. Look at that. 
who have walking floor to empty it. Any of you seen a trailer like this before? I, I certainly haven't. I think it's got a price tag of uh, in excess of £100,000. Now is that something different? I think it'd be a while before we see that in the GCS High Fleet, I have to say. But if you're pea, contra pea contracting and pea harvesting, things like that, would be ideal. But look at that for a trailer. Absolutely awesome. What a weapon, as uh, my friend there would say. Now there's a proper tractor there. That's a, yeah, I am. That's a proper tractor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think, look at that. Massey Ferguson 185. Mr. B would like that. Thank you. More blue. Boomer. New Holland. Look at that. That's a little tractor and screw. I'm convinced I should have some of those in my hire fleet. I am convinced. So anybody watching? Hopefully there is somebody watching my video. <laughs> please put in the comment below. If you've been interested in hiring little tractors like that, please put that in the comments below. We would be we'd love to hear from you and love to hear what you what you need. There's some big blue ones here as well. We're okay with big blue ones, we can do them. For those people that watch the Ripon video of Ripon Farm Services with Joe and his new John Deere cab as a patio. Not patio, it's a conservatory. Look, oh dear. <laughs> But look at the lights on that. Lights on that, eh? We can get you. <laughs> That's a bit of a step up for the last cab, isn't it, for a conservatory? Yeah, I think a blind wife for it, <laughs> Could you not use it for signalling to your good lady that when you want drink, you, know, you put the orange lights on? I'd be safe as well. I could lock the door and be able to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's some uh, light set up. Lighting seems to have come a long way since I was young. All these LED variations. <laughs> I've arrived. I'm back home. Right. Had a great day at um, YAMS, the Yorkshire Ag Agricultural Machinery Show. Had a great day, lots of tractors, lots of machinery, lots of everything. Um, lots of fun with uh, John Dimmick, Tracy, young Joe Seals. Met Daniel from Fenland Fine. Yeah, real nice guy, really good to meet him. So we'll hopefully we'll see him again at some point. So uh, please check out his channel. Um, yeah. Real nice guy, proper nice guy. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video. I think the RAF now decided to uh, join in. Thanks for watching the video. Please click and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. So thanks very much for watching.